He simply didn't want to die. Doesn't want to die. He felt that if he had no opportunity, and he was pretty well convinced by multiple doctors who had told him he had a fatal disease and he was unlikely to leave the hospital because of it. As an alternative, he, he said to me two very important things. He said, I don't want to die. And he said, if I do, maybe you'll learn something to help others. He's awake, he is uh, recovering and speaking to his caregivers, and um, we hope uh, that uh, the recovery that he is having now will continue. We've never done this in a human, and I, I like to think that um, uh, we, we have given him a better option than what continuing his therapy would have been, but whether it's a day, week, month, year, I don't know. What everybody wants, right, is not to be limited simply by the supply of human organs for transplant. And, uh, you know, a number of the organs can be treated, uh, you know, and used uh, in this way um, from a, an animal and can be commercialized basically as a, as a drug, right? And in essence, on-demand delivery, right? You would have it delivered, removed, and delivered. If that's true, we will obviously change the face of what's possible for people who now wait years for a heart transplant.